if he's not in the courtroom, he prefers Reeves. So tonight, with his advanced blessing, it's Reeves for all of us. For over 32 years, Reeves and I have been friends, colleagues, sometimes confidants, and often co-conspirators. For anyone who knows Reeves, whether it's been for 32 years or 32 minutes, it's no surprise that he's getting this award, an award that honors the person who gets it for their excellence as a lawyer and a judge, and for being a guiding star in the LGBTQ, <clears throat> LGBTQ community. Reeves started off on a stellar path really pretty much as soon as he got to law school. Georgetown Law School, extern on the DC Circuit, clerk on the Fifth Circuit, and then clerk for the esteemed Justice Powell on the US Supreme Court. Then litigation associate with Stoll Reeves in Portland. Reeves would tell you though that he found his true calling in 1987 when he joined the appellate division of the Oregon Department of Justice. I was also working there at the time. And I would agree, I would tell you the same thing, that public service and appellate work are the things that Reeves was born to do. For all who have worked with Reeves, a common set of adjectives come to mind. Smart, dazzlingly smart, witty and clever, kind, warm, and generous, tireless in his work ethic. He instantly became a go-to lawyer in the OJ, handling and collaborating, collaborating on the most sensitive and difficult legal and constitutional issues of the day, and everyone loved working with Reeves. He was also, and most importantly in many ways, a state's advocate par excellence. The current events teach us nothing else. It is the importance of having top flight lawyers representing the government. Lawyers of the highest professional and ethical standards with a moral compass calibrated to true north. And <laughs> and with instincts and a passion for good government that they treat as their constant guide as they negotiate the delicate intersection between public, between public policy and law. Reeves was that kind of government lawyer, the best kind. And he became the best kind of judge. The natural arc of his abilities and of his personality took him to the Court of Appeals in 1997. From the get-go, he was such a good judge, so talented as a thinker and writer, so generous in his collaboration with his colleagues, so kind in the courtroom. Special note, not all judges are. <laughs> and so faithful to his role as a judge, a staunch adherent to what I guess maybe I call the it's not about me judicial philosophy, a loyalist only to the rule of law. No surprise then, in 2003, he moved on to the Oregon Supreme Court, where he became a legend in his own time. The first openly LGBTQ judge on the, our state's highest court, respect <laughs> respected for all the jurist qualities that I've already mentioned, beloved for who he is as a human being. Yesterday, after the news of Elijah Cummings' death, someone said of our, our, that great congressman, he always let you see his heart. 
and he always sung yours. I instantly thought about Reeves when I heard that. It captures the essence of our own Reeves Kissler. I could talk all evening about how Reeves has been a guiding star for the LGBTQ community. About his work on Oregon's amicus brief in the Romer versus Evans case, which I believe and others believe was instrumental in the outcome of that watershed LGBTQ rights case. I could talk about his influence on the judiciary between the beyond and Oregon's own state boundaries because not only was he the first openly LGBTQ judge on our Supreme Court, he was the first of any state's highest court. Just think about our nation's first, our Justice Kissler. I'll content myself, though, to emphasize the most important lesson I think we can all take from Reeves' career. The power of presence, authentic presence, by his openness as a gay man, his excellence and integrity as a lawyer and judge, and his generous and kind spirit as a human being, Reeves has both opened and changed hearts and minds wherever he has gone in his career. That is his lasting legacy. And no matter who you are and what path you take, you can have that legacy in your life and your career. The power of authenticity, the power of presence, power of Justice Kistler. Let that be your guiding star. So Reese, my friend, my colleague, my co-conspirator, your star has not stopped shining. It continues to light the sky and guide the way. So shine on, my friend. Shine on and come up here and get your award.